Denver, it's raining, 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 raining. It's been raining for two days straight, nonstop, which never happens in Denver. Um, anyway, um, the music you've been listening to in the intro of the video is from a good friend of mine, P.T. Gazelle, who has just released a phenomenal CD that I've been listening to. And I'm going to put all the information in the video description as to this how you can get this great CD and I mean it you know I'm not a huge jazz guy but this CD honestly this CD has got to be one of the best diatonic harmonica CDs you know where it's diatonic heavy meaning ten hole harmonica heavy that just nails the essence of the music I really love uh, what PT has done on this so PT, if you're watching this, man, killer job on this CD. Um, and I just want to give a shout out to him and support uh, PT in any way I can. Um, on this CD, you'll obviously, you maybe heard a little bit in the intro there, but you, you'll get upright bass, piano, there's some trombone, sounds like flugelhorn, um, and it just sounds awesome. It just it came out really nice. So support him, grab his CD. He's releasing it today. I believe it's a brand new release. And I believe down the road he's going to have a download version, but right now you can order the physical CD from him. So check out PT uh, and support. Now, I just want to do a couple announcements. Um, I told you guys a week or two ago about a brand new item called the Funky Blues Harmonica Lesson, which was that the video that I did a long time ago that has a bunch of views on it, I broke that down and I made a lesson out of it. So if you didn't see that video, now you know. You can order that on harmonica123.com. It's called the Funky Blues. I think it's just Funky Blues or Harmonica Lesson. And now I've just completed a lesson in a very similar manner to that one, but this one's called Blues Harmonica Improv, which just takes the very first video I ever posted on YouTube um, which is this one right here. I break down everything in the video. I go through and talk about, uh, I tap, I audio tab, I call out the licks, the tablature and talk about the nuances as to what's going on in that little jam that I played. So if you want to get that, you can check the video description and you can buy it right there. Now that that's out of the way, um, I want to just talk about a, a comment that I got on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't looked at my profile page lately, youtube.com slash ronnieshellist, you'll see a moderator section where you can post suggestions or ask questions to me and I will try to address them uh, in my videos and one of them was about playing fast so it's it's odd because I don't really play fast that often so I guess, I guess it's not odd but um, it's maybe not the strongest area for me uh, I can do it, but I, I don't use it a lot naturally in my playing because it's just not my style. So, <laughs> stuff like that, really quick playing. Uh, I'm going to create the very next lesson I make for harmonica123.com ironically is going to be titled playing fast so it was very appropriate that I saw that comment and I figured I'd just talk about it briefly in this video and then um, and then get this video up on YouTube because I got a lot going on today um, I'll say a few words on it though playing fast uh, first and foremost if you can't play slowly what you're trying to play fast you're gonna have a really tough time getting it up to speed where you really get it fast so 
A common thing that people will do is play triplets, three notes. I'm using an A harmonica. Like one draw, two blow, two draw. That's what I just played. Or they'll play three draw, four blow, four draw. Or four bend, four draw, five draw. And these are riffs that often turn into faster, faster riffs. So my recommendation is to learn them slowly perfectly and speed them up slowly. Incrementally speed it up till you get to the desired speed. I mean, that may seem very obvious perhaps to some of you out there, but it's, it's important to hear it again because I think that's a lot of what people miss. They just go for it full speed. And then they wonder why they can't get it to sound the way they want. Well, start slowly and then build it, build it up little by little. The other thing is breath control. A lot of the really fast riffs will either have an exchange of, of draw, blow, like the first one I did. Draw one, blow two, draw two. And something to be aware of there is that your diaphragm, which is a muscle in the lower portion of your torso, is having to, to contract quite fast. And so what you would want to do is get that diaphragm, that muscle in shape so that when you ask it to go, you know, when you're doing a rhythm or a fast riff, it can actually go into that spastic mode of contracting back and forth quickly. So keep working on focusing on the diaphragm is what I'd say. The other thing is that some of these really fast riffs require all draw. I can cross up, there's no blows, like the one I did. So what do you want to keep in mind? Blow all of your air out, release everything. Get all the air out of your system so that you have all of the air ready at your disposal to breathe in nonstop for a while. So that, that's a little tip for you. And find, you know, these little triplets, these, these three note runs. See if you can find that one. And then just experiment on how you can tie them all together. If you want a detailed lesson on this topic, um, I'll let you know when that playing fast um, download is ready. And uh, that's all I got for today. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next Thursday.